Hi guys, I'm doing a 6.5 diesel balancer and pulley job actually. And uh, this is my box. I'm not gonna show it to you right now, but that is from Leroy, uh, a fluid amper and his pulley. And I have my seal puller right here. And I have a new seal. We are going to try to get those in today. I have to go find something to a proper tool. That is going to be the seal we're going to use. This is not a cheap seal. Uh, I want to say it was close to $20. All right, so compliments. Shout out to the Ginger Snap Customs YouTube for the chain idea. Um, it actually worked pretty good. It's a 15 16 and it's already loose. All right. So I'm going to take that out but yeah <laughs> my one concern is doing this with the water pump out that i didn't have my bolts all the way in but see that's pretty pretty darn tight but good that worked the proper way what you need to buy is the uh, fluid amper uh, harmonic balancer and pulley set. That would be most professional and give you the most service over many different vehicles. Or you can buy the little M16 times 1.5 stud. You can't rent that for most of advanced auto parts because they don't make it. So, um, pulling it off is not too bad. No special tools needed. I will need a regular puller, which I did rent. This one came from AutoZone. It is the Evertough 67007. And this should be able to get, get it off once I get that chain chain loose pretty easily. Haha, uh -huh. see my receipt because I'm returning this. Nice, sometimes the tool rentals are pretty convenient. So, yep, pretty uh, self-explanatory kit here. This is just a remover tool, as you can see. It is not an installer. I don't know if I'm gonna go buy a little thread, threaded rod for the M16 times 1.5 and just use my washer here and, and push it back on, or if I'll, I gotta check the price of uh, of uh, the, the fluid amper set, cause I might just, I do enough car work now at this point that maybe I should just inv make the investment, depending on how much it is, I suppose. But um, yeah, let me pull out these bolts so this chain sl slack will go, and then uh, let's start taking this off. All right, as you can see, we're using, I'm only using two prongs. Uh, hopefully, I think it's working anyway, though. Basically, you put the the center part back in without the spacer and then you run the middle it's coming off pretty easily actually so that's good that's always nice when old original parts high mileage parts come off nice all right so i'm going to stop camera and as you can kind of see it's inching forward eventually it's going to inch so far forward it's going to fall all right so i'm going to use my other hand to catch it so as you can see, our seal puller got it out. And this balancer actually, I mean, there's some uh, stuff missing, but the parts that everybody looks at right here, the rubber, rubber still seems like it was pretty good. So this really wasn't a need. I'm doing this more for preventative maintenance, it seems like. But since I got everything else apart, I might as well. And I had the money. So we're gonna we're gonna get it get this do the, I like doing everything one at one set one at a time. Meaning like um, take apart everything and put all back on new stuff and that way your vehicle's good for a long time. Versus just doing it once. Now I realize money is a big issue when it comes to doing it that way. But um, 
It's a little seal. I think I got one more, I think, in there. Yeah. I use these long ones. So I'm only able to use two. The third one actually wasn't spaced properly if you use these three. The spacing wasn't correct to use all three. But cool. So I'm going to return that and I'm going to have to find a way to press on the new one. But uh, this is what she looks like. There's a seal right there. Hopefully what I got um, is good enough to get off. Uh, where is my seal puller? So I have this seal. Let's make sure this is the, appears to be, I ordered this off eBay maybe? Amazon? I don't know. Hopefully I don't need to go rent a driver. Well, sure looks like it's the right size. We'll see if I can get the other one off. That sure looks like the right one. That is an SKF 23300. Okay, I got it out actually. It didn't, this thing is a, this is a pretty hard seal and the one I have is definitely perfectly the same size. Um, it's pretty plasticky metal. Uh, so it kind of just popped out. It was like, wow, this ain't coming. Maybe I'm pulling it wrong. And then bam, there it was. And I tore it up pretty good. So once I, once you start, just plan to replace it. Cause who knows how good that'll seal if I <laughs> just shoved it back in. But I cleaned up down here. Right. And now the proper way to do this, maybe put a little bit of oil around the edge and then, uh, just so it slides in there nice and then okay so it, it was orientated like this open side towards the back and let's see push this back in now okay you definitely don't want to do it like that you want to get it I'll pull that back out whoops it's on the ground What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it in place and I'm gonna put this one right behind it and gently tap it in and that's gonna be my driver, okay? To try to keep even pressure all the way around. Uh, I don't have the actual driver. Uh, I think it's pretty expensive and I don't do this enough. This is my first time and I've been driving for 16, more than 16 years now because I'm in my 30s. So uh, this is my first time ever doing this. So I definitely, don't see a need to personally buy the tool. However, uh, I'll show you here in a second how I do it. Okay, so this is what I did. You can see, the new one's in and it's flush. And if it's not flush, when I press on the new balancer, it'll be perfectly flush. What I did was I, I topped it, tapped it in with my, I think it's a three pound sledge. I put it as straight as I could. Let's see, does it say? It's a hammer, big one. And uh, so I, I tapped it in, got it started. Then I put this, the original seal, right behind it. And I tapped behind the old seal not, so as not to damage my new one. But, and this gave it a little bit more of a uniform pressure. Basically one side, one full 90 degree side is getting pressure instead of just one spot, one, maybe 20%, 25% all the force right there this spreads it out a little bit better not as good as a seal pusher or installer whatever the proper term is but that is certainly flat enough for my standards today and so i gotta go find a installer with the right thread so i can put my new one on but for right now um so i'm gonna have to let you go and come back another day all right guys so i have the water pump back on so it might be a little bit harder to see what's going on down there. Definitely, if you're going to pull the seal, it will be a little bit easier with this water pump off. But you got, just because you can have a wrench go just right up here. So I finally got my tool kit in. I'm going to be using uh, the Mac 1330B. And this is just the installer, okay? This is not a uh, remover. However, it does have 
the necessary M16.15. However, it does say the Duramax 6.6, .6, and it says the 6.5 up here. So I don't know if the internet's right or if Mac's right, but I'm about to find out. And uh, here's the 16.5. And it's a super simple kit. Uh, really, you just thread this into the end. Other side. So one side gets threaded into the end. Whatever side, you know, adapter that you need. And then the flat part gets pushed up against um, the new balancer. And then this thing slides right on through and it'll spin against the back the back does spin and then once you get this tight I guess technically you could just turn it with the end until it's tight against the thing and then turn the nut the rest of the way to get it so that's what I'm gonna do um, and uh, yeah Okay, there is a little key. You can't, basically, you can't incorrectly install this. Um, just make sure your bolt holes for the pulley are facing forward, and then it's kind of fail-proof. There's only one way it can go on. And then after that, it is the M16 by 1.5. I didn't get that too tight, but that should be. Let's see if I can use this huge socket. I'm going to use a. What am I going to use? It's a 32 socket. And we are going to see if we can't get this on. Yep, there it goes. Alright, let me grab a wrench and uh, I'm going to push that on. Alright, I got my chain set up. One on the water pump and then. You gotta use at least one. I'm using two if it helps. I'm not sure. Uh, just enough to hold the engine from turning, and then this is to brace it. And then uh, that should get me down to 200 foot pounds. All right. So balancer's on. Torque to 200 foot pounds. Now we gotta get the Le Leroy's uh, pulley on next. Um, and this is really easy. Just take the bolts. Um, look at that. It's going to sit. It's going to look sharp with everything new. Uh, but I just grab one of these, the four bolts that I got down here. And slide them through the holes. And what I've done is, in the past, is just tighten them until it turns the whole motor. Uh, turns the whole pulley. And uh, that's been tight enough. <laughs> For me so far, I don't know what the actual spec is, but tight. I'm going to guess that's probably in the 30 to 40 pound range once it's tight enough to spin the whole thing. So we're going to do that and then it'll be done. That's what it looks like all said and done. Two of the best products you can get on your 6.5.